Newton uh, was very much concerned about his role in the history of mathematics, his uh, role as a mathematical author. Uh, and uh, in uh, many cases in his manuscripts, you find him uh, reconstructing, if you like, a history of mathematics a narrative about the development of mathematics uh, in which uh, he uh, places himself. Uh, a context in which this uh, exigency of uh, providing a narrative uh, of the development of mathematics uh, and uh, placing his work in this narrative occurred during the priority dispute with Leibniz. The priority dispute with Leibniz uh, was uh, 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 was uh, prompted Newton to consider the theme of the discovery of the calculus, and uh, Newton in this context did uh, several interesting things, and uh, by considering how he viewed the discovery of the calculus, uh, we learn a lot about uh, the values, uh, the philosophical agenda that was relevant, that was important for Newton. One feature that I would like to uh, underline is that uh, during the priority dispute, Newton had no problems in attributing to Barrow a very important role, especially in the discovery of the direct method of fluxions, what Leibniz would call differential method. For Newton, uh, the differential method or the direct method of fluxions was not so important uh, or better, Newton did not want to conceive himself as the discoverer of, uh, uh, of this uh, method. He rather underlined the importance of his contributions in the inverse method of fluxions, in what we would call the integral calculus, and uh, especially at the beginning of the dispute when Newton worked uh, to the production of the Commercium Epistolicum, it is clear that he underlined especially uh, his contribution as um, related to his ability to apply the inverse method, the integral calculus, to very difficult problems. Uh, so, um, on the contrary, I would say that Leibniz stressed the importance of the discovery of symbolism and the discovery of the basic rules of the differential calculus. For Leibniz, from the very beginning, discovering the calculus means discovering an algorithm, discovering a symbolism, and identifying the basic rules of the differential calculus. If you allow me, uh, 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 perhaps a too schematic statement, Leibniz approaches the question from the point of view of a logician, let us say so. Who discovered the algorithm? Who discovered the basic rules of the algorithm? Newton faces the problem, if you allow me uh, this simplification, this is you know, very much a question of stress. Uh, Newton approaches the problem from the point of view of the mathematician who is proud of uh, the results that he has achieved uh, in solving very difficult problems. 